Um, basically, when Castro was on the run and people thought they had defeated the terrorist movement that eventually took over Cuba and turned it into a communist hellhole, mm. um, he went and put a microphone to him and wrote this whole hey, geographical thing in, in the New York Times um, that that basically whitewashed the communism and it, was, and, it, and it made Castro out to be ambiguous in terms of his ideology. And this was sort of like, uh, you know, Osama bin Laden being defeated. Everybody thought he was dead. And then some reporter going and doing this huge interview to get help have him recruit for Al Qaeda. It was like at that level. Because, I mean, that's yeah. what communism was. It was like this terrorist movement that would take over states and turn them into charnel houses, mass murder. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, for many years, by the way, they're like, that's why for, for 16 years, the U.S. government didn't recognize the Soviet Union. From 1917 to 1933 that's why the the nations of the world treated communism initially like they treated isis mm -hmm. as this crazy terrorist gang that had taken over russia and so sent them troops to help the russian whites against the russian reds mm -hmm. um so, so so basically the analogy to to Osama bin Laden is actually pretty good so basically castro got interviewed and he used that for recruiting and he took over the country and of course he's got the death squads and he's killing people or whatever right and uh you know so there are things like basically before world war ii they reported that poland had invaded germany um they uh, obviously they got the iraq war you know they reported that wmds were in iraq and, and fooled everybody their their reporters recently were on you know twitter like denying that COVID-19 was a big deal and calling you a paranoid racist, whatever, in, in January and February 2020, if you brought it up, um, close the borders, oh my God, you're so evil. And then they turn around completely to pretending that they had always been concerned. And so the, the pattern is basically that they're the first rewrite of history, you know, mm -hmm. um, they basically go and get it wrong often because of ideological reasons or they um they don't understand the technology they, they told um if i recall correctly goddard the inventor of the rocket that it would never work and it did mm -hmm. um and you know they said they like a few months before the wright brothers had their plane uh at, at, you know the first the first aircraft uh they they said oh flight will take like a million years it'll never happen you know right. so they, they've been just wrong on lots of stuff with